Thank you. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the link between your monitoring, logging, and alerting policies to the motivation of your engineers to solve problems, which I think is you know, incredibly important. So here's the problem. Whenever you try to talk to your superiors about this, uh, what you usually get is this look of, we don't have any time for that, our attention span is too small, but this is only five minutes, so it should be pretty easy, shouldn't it? No? So why is monitoring so important? Monitoring is a big part of your life for your production engineer. Basically, uh, you see it in the bathroom, in bed, with, while your significant other is looking over your shoulder asking you to come to bed already. And uh, any of us have actually done that, yeah, so. <laughs> so uh, this is what you look at on your first on-call, especially as a junior. And uh, well, this is what you look like after a while. Go, go, yes. And, uh, <laughs> and that's, that's really the case. And uh, this kind of motivation drop happens, uh, and it's because this monitoring thing is with you all the time, and you kind of need to learn to control that. Anyway, so, what the hell? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, essentially, why does this motivation drop? Because either you're frustrated or you're, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> So one of the bad things people do is that we alert all the errors. Basically, we alert for everything, and because we alert for everything, what actually happens is we get alert fatigue, which is, uh, which basically causes you to kind of care less, which kind of sucks. So what you need to do is basically alert only things that either are that are basically actionable, business breaking, and absolutely cannot wait till morning. And the reason you can't have people do that every night is because. This is what you look like the morning after a production uh, event. And that kind of sucks, because you lose a lot of productivity for people that you, you know, pay a lot of money for. So uh, that's uh, basically the case. So another thing that people do is that they have like with this one team that does monitoring, but anybody else is kind of like waiting for, next, for the next day or second tier or whatever. And what this does is that other teams have limited motivation to actually prevent problems, and another thing that happens is that the first team burns out faster. So what you do instead is that you get this like, uh, only person who actually can fix the problem should get alerted, and the other people shouldn't be. Nobody should get lose sleep for things that they can do nothing about. So what they usually do to try to fix this, they kind of alert everyone. So when you alert everyone, basically get tragedy of the commons, which basically means that nobody cares about anything, and basically, it's somebody else's problem. So that shouldn't be the case. Uh, everybody should do on call. If everybody does on call, people will do, be doing less of it over time. And another thing that people do, which is horrible, is because they don't know what to log, is that they log all the things. You get the needle in haystack syndrome, and basically, it takes you a whole lot of time to find information to fix the problems that you're not even sure that you have. And that's pretty horrible. And uh, the solution is that you need to kind of force your developers to think monitoring through before you, well, what, when you design the system. So no more null pointer ex exceptions in Java with no real error in them. And this is another thing. People measure things the wrong way. This is how you measure uh, engine strength. You measure horsepower. Does anybody here still ride a horse to work? And we, for some reason, still do this with cars. And another thing that we do is that we sometimes measure the wrong things. And <laughs> so you kind of look at this and say, OK, why are we still measuring these things, like CPU or memory for specific host and you know, auto scale on that and stuff like that? So these kind of problems need to be accounted for. Your system changes over time. You need self-correcting metrics. Now, many of you are probably saying that you could probably buy this and this stuff already uh, exists on the market. Well, it usually does, but many of you aren't, still aren't doing that. So this is kind of the key for the talk. So another thing that I'd like to point out is that metrics, uh, the, one of the metrics that Netflix has is that they measure how many times a minute people actually click uh, the play button, which is pretty cool. It's like this one metric that tells you everything about your service. Uh, and that's it. Uh, I copied all this stuff from a lot of other talks, uh, mainly from StatsCraft. Uh, this is my email and Twitter handle, and I'd love from here from you. Thanks. <laughs>